Kuzangpo, December 10 is Human Rights Day and to celebrate it, a group of us got together and talked to several Bhutanese to understand how they think about human rights in Bhutan. But the protection of human rights is often a difficult process and we wanted to learn more by exploring human rights in our country, Bhutan. Here's some background. December 10 commemorates the day in 1948 when the United Nations General Assembly adopted the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. This year's theme, Human Rights 365, expresses the idea that every day is Human Rights Day. It celebrates the notion that each one of us, everywhere and at all times, is inherently entitled to a wide range of rights. So, we wanted to understand and create greater awareness of human rights. Through our interviews, we hope to learn how People from different walks of life understand human rights and their roles in protecting these rights. We also wanted to create awareness for the general public, especially young people, on their constitutional rights and responsibilities. With this in mind, we hope you learn something about the importance of human rights. Finally, a question that we should ask, what do human rights mean to me? I think human right is the right that should be given to every human being for him to attain happiness. It's the right every human being has. Every person is entitled to certain fundamental rights simply by the facts of being human being. Not having the fear of being judged by people and knowing what you're doing is right. Mapangachi, the door me watcher, say me the Mapangachara, cheat in the rap, the Shuachin. Milu, which a Toby Gisulu, Machilo, to one such a dola Tobongi. Any Tobong the Mebachin, me Lulu Tobura, cum in the Valadre. The me celebrate Machina, Dulu de Migi, Michamjim in Bala. The Ruch Pshia Kablapa de me, car a meme of Mola. So Andy Biolet in the bed, the Ru, Zambling Chisogi, want to live better Besuru, the human rights. Chisungbe. Basic principle of human rights is how I want to live my life. The way I want to live my life, let me live the way I want to live. At the same time, let others live the way they want to live, provided it is within the legal framework. It's a right that uh, someone can enjoy, someone can exercise, and something that will provide somebody with the platform to stand equally amongst equals. Some of the human rights that I can think of is the right to freedom, right to education, privilege to medical facilities. And the equal rights to bring up power and leadership in our country. The right to every basic facility and needs. I don't want to say that I civil and political rights. The civil and political rights in the city, Mapara Milo, go in Volati, Kachi, which is my Kachara Cheva, Kachimos or Jansu, Toarangaji, Tangaji, Egan and Georgian, the right to life, say. Do you need a message to go by Milo? The Milo, do you need a message to go by Milo? The Mola, Chiki Bansu, Chiki GC, Chiki Chibet, Tangajara de Hama Tangusumbe, Chiki Sik, the letter Tangajara de Vete, Simchusumbe, Yasuachin, do you need a message to go by Milo? The Chiki Susan, right to privacy. Ra ruled in your Makiwachin. Radu Razadi wants it, the Radu Yupe. Chidi, the Dagachi, right to free from torture. The Milumachi and the team Morungi team came me chose. Matevigi team and the king came me chose. The Lentor Chidi, the right to the right to the freedom of thought. No Satani Girawa, no love Nigi Rawa. As Mlash Duvalani, the political rights in the right to vote law, right to be a candidate law, right to have an elected representative. Answer Gubala. The answer the Gara Tanachigi, the civil and the political right in the Sudmela. They are cheating at economic, social, and cultural rights. The answer the Kachukuma Sachin, Dubdalo, with the dignity be, do so. Sanituni Iro, Zulu Gobi, Chutope, Sandigi. And to Sugi, right to well at the right to work. The Lechida Kachus, right to social. Social security, khatera jodo re bisu ma jodo ni gobola security, security ni mabaje freedom ni nevala. So ani bodo ansu kar right to suru hema ten zamling so ki nalle te su zodi be. Ti te sunga chiga ani doi mi wa chadi ani i ise. As an individual, we have to be able to understand what are our rights. Say, I as a blind person, I have the right to 
live where I want to live. I, I should have the right to work and earn and support my family. And I should have the right to go where I want to go. So these are there, but, but we have to be able to initiate ourselves. And to initiate, we have to have some financial as well as practical resources. We are all responsible for taking care of our own human rights, but uh, mostly we depend on the government. It's very important for the government to let each individual know what their rights are. Every individual uh, is responsible to give human rights to others and to have your own rights. When you are aware about the existence of such rights that are bestowed upon you, the next logical tendency would be for you to demand that right, right? So when you do that, I think the government is also responsible enough to provide the environment where you can exercise your rights to the utmost level. So from that point of view, I, I would say, uh, you know, in short, I would say that everybody, everybody is equally responsible, be it uh, individuals, be it families, be it government, be it non-governmental organizations, everybody is equally responsible if you really want to implement and make use of the rights that are bestowed upon an individual. Our constitution may have the best of all the laws, but if individuals doesn't know what are our rights, and if the policymakers don't implement what is in the law, I think it will not be practical. Being a party to the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women, which I will now call CIDAW, or the Convention on the Rights of Child, which I will now call CRC, our agency was actually instituted to promote and protect the rights of women and children in line with the international conventions and treaties that our state is a party to. So from that perspective, we endeavor to fulfill the sections and provisions of the CEDAW and the CRC in the most responsible and respectable manner. We also have specific laws, you know, like this Child Care Protection Act, which fully looks into protecting the rights of a child. Then we have the Domestic Violence Prevention Act, which again looks at a specific issue of domestic violence, which again is a violation of the rights of women. And we try to create an environment where women and children will also feel included, will feel uh, important, uh, will feel like you know they also have the platform, they also have the same springboard to jump, which will take them to the same height. So this is what we are trying to do. So we try to create that environment where women and children can exercise the rights that are, you know, enshrined in the Constitution. The Office of the Attorney General is the central prosecuting authority. So especially when people are arrested, when people are detained, when people are imprisoned, the human rights issues comes immediately. It's our duty to really see that uh, whether basic human rights has been respected or not, whether they are given full freedom of expression, of giving a statement, of a right to legal counsel. And after we have received the case in our office, we have a duty to really go into the detail and see whether he or she needs to be prosecuted or not. Then after that, we forward this case to the uh, Royal Court of Justice. Even when you take to the case to the Royal Court of Justice, we have a duty like, because we have to prove the case beyond reasonable doubt. Until he or she has been convicted by the court, by the final court, then only we can say that she, he or she is a convict. But until then that, we should always think that he or she is not guilty, is innocent. So for that, we have this big responsibility to take care of all this. We also have a responsibility to, to advise the government to come up with any new laws, particularly with human rights, based on our experience. 
So that way we are a bridge in between. So that's why the institution has a big mandate and role, especially in, from the human rights point of view, when it comes to case law, when we do the prosecution of the cases. So this is what uh, we really do at our institution. It was initially formed by a group of visual impaired or blind persons. So therefore, in long term, what we hope is to help support the government, whoever is formulating the laws for personal disabilities, whoever is uh, doing this, and at the same time, we ourselves will, in due course, advocate on behalf of disabled people to have an act on disabled person. Disabled Persons Association of Bhutan will make sure or support disabled people to have education about. Number two, support in independent living, which means in terms of activity of daily living, in terms of accessibility, in terms of attitude change, so that they themselves can stand. Because as uh, all of our experience shows that until and unless we can live ourselves independently, just saying that it's our right does not really function. Right now we don't have any particular law related to disability, which we hope will come soon. Although the previous government has signed what we call the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disability, CRPD, has been signed in 2010, but it has not been ratified. So we are hoping that CRPD, Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disability, will be ratified by the parliament soon. In the parliament, we have a human rights committee consisting of five members. And uh, basically what we try to look into is see if there are appropriate legislations in place. Right? And if there isn't, then how do we draw that and see how we can protect our people, their rights, um, basically their human rights. We have instituted this uh, human rights committee mainly to draw legislation so that uh, human rights is not violated in the country. Right now we do not have much of a human rights uh, violation in the country, but in the future we can never say. So it is better to have legislations in place, or laws in place, so that you know, like the uh, rights of the, our own people are not violated in the future. Human rights is a general issue and a complex issue, but you as the young people uh, and even the people who are viewing this program, to do something to make, to make sure that our disabled people in Bhutan, especially children, have the proper care and guidance, not to discriminate, not to think that they are a burden, but they are the future citizens of Bhutan. And even as a disabled people, we can show a lot of good examples and inspiration to the non-disabled people. The state cannot just go on having these kind of legal provisions and so on and so forth, you know, provide services and all. People should also, as I mentioned earlier, try to exercise their rights responsibly. You know, and by that, and that should be one of their main duties. In the constitution, you have the fundamental rights, no? and also the fundamental duties. As much as we are concerned about the fundamental rights, I think we should also be concerned about the fun, uh, <coughs> fundamental duties. You have a right to demand your right. Human Rights 2014!